What's up, guys? We are in Orange County at the Dana Point Ocean Institute. So the Ocean Institute is like an educational marine life center with some pretty cool views that's located right in the Dana Point Harbor. It's not too far from like the shops and restaurant areas. It's in a really pretty area. This place is only open two days a week on the weekend, Saturdays and Sundays to the public. And it's from like 11 a.m. to about 3 p.m. The cost is about $15 per adult and $7.50 for kids. So let's go check it out. like the gift shop slash entrance. Look, they're fish. Yep. That thing is actually alive. And look, those that eel are... is alive. I thought that was part of the, the rocks. Jeez. No, no, no. It, like it moves. Both alive. Or is, is it? Yeah, it's two of them. It's crazy. So here's your map. There's some uh, story times. I don't know what that's all about. You can see some fish feeding. You also can get whale watching tours from here as well. So this is the spine of a gray whale. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, just information on like education on some of the animals, stuff like that, conservation. Walrus tusks, look at that. It's crazy. It's a gray whale skull. It's just crazy. It's a rove. Those are the things that go down like real deep, like film things like Titanic and stuff like that. So you got some snakes. Look at this guy. Hey, Mr. Gopher Snake. Milk Snake and Boa Constrictors. Of course, they got their video games. Supposedly, this uh, a squid this size was found in 2000. Here, Dana Point. Are those real? I think they're replicas. That's crazy how these things look like freaking something you've seen in a movie. Hey, little buddy. Moray eel. Hey, mister. What you doing? It's like a little recovery kind of conservation thing. Crabs. A little fishy in here. Schools of fish here. Yeah, so this section is like what they do to help conserve different animals and stuff like that. So you kind of see some things. They're trying to rehabilitate some of the fish and stuff like that before they release them. 
This is called a calico bass, whatever that is. There's a little itty bitty jellyfish. This guy's a little bit the uh, size to fool you, man. They'll sting you. It's like a science lab over here. And that's trash. Why does it look like it's a jellyfish, but it's actually trash? Moon jellyfish. So crazy. It's a little gelatin. Lion's mane. It's like little shrimp in here. Over there they got two. Baby jellyfish. They got little tiny ones here too, yeah. Just little. Yeah, they're so little. No, that's what I said, the little bowl. Oh, yeah, these are all little baby jellyfish. And uh, this is actually, these are sea monkeys right here. These are sea monkeys, the lady told me, and they feed them to the jellyfish. Obviously, you can't see them, but they're in there. So this is the cycle of all the jellyfish. That's their food, and then there's like all the different um, stages of development. Do some paddleboarding out there. So you can actually touch certain animals. And this little wing, it's got more uh, animals, fish, etc. I think you can touch some different types of sharks. A little starfish. You can touch all these little critters. Great white jaw. They're quarantined. They all got the COVID. Yeah, lots of little different animals. All stuff that's like native to the area, Orange County, Oceans, California, etc. You also have a nice access point to the uh, the rock ocean break and awesome ocean views. I'm gonna walk down and check out the tide pools right by the Ocean Institute. Little stairs to make it easier. So the Dana Point Ocean Institute is pretty cool. You know, it's a low key little thing, quick little thing. Um, you can also walk right past here to the tide pools without doing the Ocean Institute thing. And uh, some really nice views out there by the tide pools. There's also a Pirate's Cave. We didn't get to walk down there. So I think that's a pretty cool scenic area to check out too if you go down by the 
tide pools. Yeah, the outer uh, strip in the uh, Bay Area has uh, lots of little restaurants, little like diners and bars and grills. It's like three or four in a row. So get some food and get some cool little views. We're heading toward the section that has like the sh more uh, shops and things. This is like the marina, obviously, one of the main marinas. Yeah, just lots of little shops, restaurants, little, nice little area to just go hang out in the water. You got surfboards, yeah. Yeah, so if you're looking for something to do in a nice little beach town, the Dana Point Harbor Wharf is a cool little place to go. Nothing too crazy, but just nice and relaxing. Some pretty cool restaurants and, you know, just kind of enjoying some nice views. Now we're going to go to San Clemente, which is just a little south of here. You can see the ocean there. So Avenida del Mar, that's the main drag. One of those rocket fizz candy shops. Those are always cool. Oh yeah, there was one in uh, whatever. Yeah, you got all these funky retro candies and sodas. Pretty cool. Bacon soda. And all sorts of crazy little soda concoctions. So San Clemente is another one of those Orange County little towns by the water it's got cool restaurants and shops you know pretty nice little vibe here you know it's not too far from dana point um and san juan capistrano cool little spanish architecture style and a nice little ferrari of the pier in the ocean very similar to like La Jolla that's the, the feeling we have here it's like very similar to the slopes and the, the building designs wait 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 yeah. oh, the train stop. That's how it's kind of weird there's a train station that runs right through the uh, pier area there was just a train This little beach area. I think these are the same restaurant. They're different buildings, but the same like restaurant. Don't touch, don't touch the 
Yeah, absolutely beautiful day here on the coast. It's like 80 degrees on the coast, which is about 25 degrees cooler than it is in Temecula. It was 100 and like plus today. It's like 80 here. Beautiful. The sun's going down. You watching the surfers? So I don't know if San Clemente is generally uh, more calmer the way, in terms of the waves than like other areas, but the waves are like real low key today. It's very calm and peaceful out there. It's beautiful. Made it to the end of the pier. Yeah, so pretty. If you do visit California, you have to go watch the sunset when it's like nice out, man. But oh my goodness, the sunsets here are amazing. Especially like on a day like today, like the water is just crystal clear. So there's a lot of great spots, obviously, you know, because the sun sets in the west. So I hope you guys enjoyed our little trip to Orange County, Dana Point, and San Clemente. Definitely cool little spots to check out if you're visiting the area. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.